This is a Pokemon Platinum Supreme Victors Booster Box. This set was released in 2009 and was the 41st English set. And one of the most notable cards in this set is, of course, the Charizard Level X. One of six Level X Pokemon cards in this set, as well as Blaziken, Electivire, Garchomp, Rayquaza, and Staraptor. And not to mention the three secret rare Legendary Birds, Moltres, Articuno, and Zapdos. As well as three shiny Pokemon cards, Melotic, Relicant, and Yanma. And of course, it doesn't even stop there. We have plenty of holo cards to pull in this set and in this video we're going to be opening up this box and seeing what we can get inside however i have two boxes and it's been a while since i've done a box break on this channel and i'm sure you're thinking what i'm thinking it's time to bring back the box breaks but i'm not sure what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below if you want to do a box break of this platinum supreme victor's booster box and if there's enough demand for it and enough people wanting to get a pack i'll announce it and list packs on the store pokeran.net in the upcoming week. In terms of the price, I did pay two different values for these boxes. I paid 4,000 for one of them and I paid 4,400 for the other. And that is in Great British Pounds, GBP. And the Charizard from this set last sold in a PSA 10 at $3,500. So it's a big set, a lot of potential in it. So I've got to make sure I make the right decision. And uh, ooh, which one should I open? I'm gonna go with this one, okay? I'm gonna open this one and you guys can have this one over here, okay? There we go. And here we go, man. 36 packs of Platinum Supreme Victors. Of course, in this video, we are gonna open nine packs. The rest will be opened in upcoming videos this week so let's pick wisely we've got one two three four i'm trying to pick different artworks let's get absol in there there we go here are the nine packs that we are going to open in today's video and i'm really excited if you're excited for this video as well make sure you do leave a like and if you're new around here make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss the future openings of this platinum victor's supreme no platinum supreme victor's booster box <laughs> oh gosh let's go first pack we're going to start with the rayquaza artwork and as normal, we're just going to open the pack. We're going to, you know, do no card tricks because you can look it up online. But I want to go into these sets a little bit blind or as blind as I can do. So here we go. Hashtag first pack look in the comments down below if you want to see me pull some bangers in this video. First, we have a Cherubi or Cherubi to start us off. We then have a Wishma. Ooh. Always finding those in caves in the game. As well as finding Geodudes. How funny is that? We got a Bidoof. Is it the perfect Bidoof though? Hashtag Pokemon Rusty. Shroomish. Ooh, we got a Numble. Reverse holo. The next card is going to be the rare, right? Let's see what we have. We have a... Ooh, we have a hollow to start us off. That's fantastic. Yamega. I like Yamega, you know. It definitely has grown on me as a Pokemon. Damn, that's awesome, man. Very nice. And a hollow on our first pack. That's very cool. And then we have the normal again, and we have three cards behind. So it is going to be a three-card pack trick as normal. Usually that's what you expect. And there we go. All sleeved up and ready to go. Yamega holo card. Let's go. All right, that was awesome. We smashed it on our first pack. Let's see what we can get out of the second one right here. One, two, three is what we're thinking, right? I didn't even check the back of this Yamega. I was just too excited to open it and get to the next pack. We'll check the condition of a few of these cards in a second, but let's just get into it. We've got a Masquerade in the next pack as the first card. Numble once more. He's already the regular. Whenever we do these booster box openings, there's always a Pokemon that becomes the regular of that expansion or of, the, of that booster box. And Numble definitely is that for us so far. We've got a Floatzel, Pachirisu, Chimchar, Ninkada. Ooh, is that a Kamiya artwork? It is Kamiya. Obviously, the style is so unique. Shroomish, Shinx. We have a Reverse Hollow Loudred. That's a really cool artwork as well. Wait, is that the clouds? Actually, I think that's a bunch of rocks behind him, but it did look like the clouds. It's like he's dancing on clouds. I thought that for a second, but uh, that's awesome. And the final card, are we going to go two for two for hollows? What we're going to get, we have a Dugong regular rare. No hollow in this pack right here. All right, two packs in. Pretty good so far. Let's see what we can get out of this third one. And uh, I wonder if we'll pull any level Xs. I think when we opened our platinum box, we did find two level Xs in the entire box, and there are six in total. So... One in three chance of getting the Charizard, kind of roughly, I guess not necessarily because you could get duplicates, um, but you never know. You may get more than, you know, two level X's in a box. I have only opened one platinum box in my life, so, and that was on the channel, so I've not really got much of a sample size to go on. We got a Rose, ooh, I love Rose Raid. I'm surprised that's not a rare, but Rose Raid is a great Pokemon. Let's go. Loudred once more, dancing on the clouds. Ride on. These nuts. I <laughs> got them. Let's go. Fukada Illustrated Discard. That's the illustrator for the Gold Stars. That's a really cool fun fact. Ooh, Skorupi. And that artwork is... Wow. That's insane. I love that artwork. I love how they take such like a normal slash boring Pokemon and turn it into something sick with the artwork. That's very nice. Chingling. I like this Pokemon. Corfish. Bulbasaur. I didn't even know Bulbasaur was even in this set. That's fire. Look at that. The sunset, Vine Whip. Ooh. Oh, oh, man. It takes me back. It just gives me some feeling of like Gen 1 nostalgia. Next up, we have a Doduo. 
not so much nostalgia because it's boring. <laughs> Sorry for all those Dodua fans. And then we have a reverse hollow soul rock. That has to be a rare, right? Yeah, that's a reverse rare. Wow. Great artwork, great symmetry on that one. And here we go. The final card of the pack is going to be a... Oh, 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 we got a level X already. Let's go, baby. An Electivire level X. And look at that, guys. The border is similar to those of the EX cards and the Prime cards, in the sense that it's hollow. We've got Electivire breaking out of the frame there. Level X, that is awesome. That is very, very nice. It's not a Charizard, but it's a very, very nice card regardless. Let's go. That is very, very nice. I'm very happy to pull this. I like Electivire as a Pokemon as well, and I don't think there are any Pokemon Level Xs in this box that I don't like. Oh, actually, I misspoke in the intro. There are actually seven different Level X cards. Absol, Blaziken, Charizard, Electivire, Garchomp, Rayquaza, and Staraptor. I would take all of those. I would prefer to get a Charizard, Blaziken, Garchomp, Rayquaza, or Absol. So to be fair, Electivire is one of my least favorite level X is in this box, but it doesn't take away from it at all. Like, I still love the card. Still very happy to get the card. If you were doing a tier list, it wouldn't, you know, match the rest, but this is really nice. I'm very happy with it. And let's take a look at the condition because we haven't done that yet. And as we can see, yeah, this is definitely what we expect when we open boxes from this era, you know, black and white, platinum, heart gold, soul, silver. They don't come out of the pack very nice at all. We've got a nick in the bottom left and the top there. So it's very hard to get PSA 10s of these cards. Like it's really hard, but still a very nice card to pull and I'm very happy about it. And I know what's going to happen. I literally know what's going to happen. You guys are going to open the other box on the box break and you guys will get the Charizard or the Rayquaza and I'm going to be left with Electivire and Staraptor. I like Staraptor as well. Great Pokemon, great, great bird in the games, you know, Intimidate and High Attack. Very, very good. Let's keep it moving, man. Let's keep this one going. I don't want to make the videos too long these days. I'm trying to cut them short. I know you guys have got a lot of things to do and um, I don't want to take too much of your time. So let me know if you do appreciate that or let me know in the comments if you do prefer the longer videos. I know some people will prefer longer and some people will prefer shorter, but if I can get like a an overall idea, it would help me a lot. Ooh, and here we go. We've got Cynthia's Guidance as the first card of this next pack. Magmar up next. Champion's Room. That's my room then. Oh, hey. Cringe. Piplup. Ooh, this all looks nice. This all looks very nice. I love like the different styles you get from different illustrators in the TCG. This one more of like a pencil artwork. Piplup. Shroomish. Mankey. Mime Junior. We have a Roselia. A reverse hollow Bibarel. I'll prefer Bidoof. Hashtag perfect Bidoof. And then we have as a final card a Dust Noir. So we're going so far hollow, regular rare, level X, regular rare. So does that mean the next card or the next pack is going to be a hollow? Let's see if that pattern can continue in our next pack. Rayquaza with the artwork in this one. Let's get a nice, nice shot of this pack here. No face in the corner, just pure Pokemon. I know some of you are here just to see the cards, so let me give that to you. And we still have, like, I'm not sure how it works with the secret rares. Like, do we get two level X's plus a secret rare, plus a shiny? Or is it just kind of like, you know, random each box? Again, like, I actually like not knowing the patterns. When you open so much Sword and Shield, you know, when you open so many Japanese boxes, you kind of start to realize the system that they have. You know, one secret rare or one this, one that. It's nice to go into a set completely blind and just open the packs for what they are. Oh, I got a Meowth there. Meowth's always going for like berries or fruit in the TCG, I love it. Um, it's really great. Zubat, this is a this box is very orientated around the caves, you know, Geodude, Wishma, Zubat. We have next up a, <laughs> speak of the devil, Wishma. We have a, is it a reverse holo time? It is a Yamega reverse holo, which again is a reverse rare, which is really interesting. It's always nice to get a reverse rare. And the final card, and if our pattern is correct, this will be a holo, so let's see. Let's see. We have a Hunch Crow. No holo, I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen. We have had two non holo regular rares in a row, but we do have some more packs left in this video. We actually have quite a few left. We've got four packs left. That's surprising to me. I thought we were going to have a lot less than that. But here we go. I guess the quality of these cards so far has been just fantastic with the Electivite and the Yamega. It just feels like we've opened so many more. So let's get into this next pack. And yes, I'm destroying these packs. This is not the box break box, you know? I can do what I please with these packs. And I'm going to tear into them as I want to. Oh, we got a ride on these nuts in our, <laughs> as our first card in the next pack. Minon, that's a debut so far. I haven't seen that yet. We have a Altaria. And again, I'm surprised that's not a rare card. We've got Altaria. And then Cynthia there. That's really sick. Let's go. Oh, we got a Cricketot. <laughs> Shout out to all the OG fans who know why I do the accent. We've got a Cricketot there. We have a Surskip. Drifloon again. Okay. Corfish. Mudkip. Hey, let's go. I like Mudkip. We have a Reverse Hollow Mankey. Okay. And it's the final card. What will we get? Will we get a Hollow? Will we get a regular rare? Let's see. We have a... 
Regular rare Lunatone. And that's three regular rays in a row, guys. Wow, wow, wow. We are letting the side down recently with these packs. We've got three packs remaining, two Charizard artworks, it seems, and one Absol. So let's do the Charizard first and last, you know, to keep a nice little pattern going. I hope we don't pull another level X yet. I would like to spread them, you know, between videos. The Hot Gold Soul Silver Box we opened was absolutely incredible, right? The Undaunted series, because I don't want to spoil too many things for those who haven't seen it. If you haven't, go back and watch it. It was an amazing series. Uh, but we saved that the best till last, which was really, really great. We just kept pulling, like, really good, cool cards, you know, as the series went on. Champion's Room. Oh, we got a Garchomp again. I'm surprised these aren't raised. It's sick that they're not. But we got a Garchomp here, another one of Cynthia's Pokemon. That's fire. Mudkip once more. Okay. Gibble as well. Cute thing. We have a Boltoy, another new card, Magikarp. Wow, we're getting, I find it weird how you can open like five packs and get so many similar cards or so many of the same cards and you open another and it's completely different. We have a Beldum, a Reverse Holo Camera Rub, that has to be another rare. It is, that's another rare reverse. We're doing well with the rare reverses today. And then we have the final card, which is a Melotic regular rare but a Cynthia card as well but damn this is a bit of a dry spell I guess I guess the level X does make up for it with the Electivire right there but wow dry spell so far two packs remaining let's see what we can do oh man I'm nervous I'm nervous to see what we can get this actually costs more than the Undaunted box and I feel like that Undaunted box was a little bit slept on price wise for the quality of cards well not the condition of cards but the amount of pulls we had obviously though this is expensive because of the Charizard potential but even still man we've got a Drifblim, Cynthia's Guidance, Piplup, Feebas, Sandshrew, I love Sandshrew as a Pokemon. We have Shinx, another Pokemon that I like a lot. Bulbasaur, again, another one. A Reverse Holo Absol, and another Reverse Rare. Bro, we're doing insane things right now. That's amazing. And look at that, the first card in the entire set. We have it, Reverse Holo Absol. So that's a Reverse Holo Holo, if you know what I'm saying. Like that normal card is a Holo. And then we have the final card, which is a... Oh, baby, there we go. We got a Holo, and it is a Metagross as the Holo. And look at that Holo pattern. Look at that shine. I miss this holo pattern in the modern cards now. I wish we had it in Sword and Shield. Look at that Metagross holo. Let me sleeve that up immediately. I love, obviously, Gen 3 is one of my favorite gens, or is, is my favorite gen. And I love Metagross as a Pokemon. I mean, who doesn't? And look at that card right there. Sentry looks really nice as well. And you know what? The back doesn't look too bad. We've got a bit of a problem up there. But this is not too bad. That's very, very nice. Jeez, come on, Metagross. Yes, let's go. Holo. And uh, now the collection is starting to look really nice from this box and this episode specifically. But guys, don't go anywhere because we still have one more pack left. And it is, of course, a Charizard artwork. So let's see if we can pull some absolutely insane cards from this final pack. And I want to see some hashtag last pack looks in the comments down below. Let's see if we can get some good look from you guys as we go into this final pack here. So let's get this thing open. Let me know as well what booster boxes you want to see me open next because I will have to go and get some more at this point. But we've got a Cherim right here. Pinsir. Wow. I love it when you get such sick Pokemon as like uncommons. It's fantastic. Raichu again. That's just the same thing I'm talking about. Look at the artwork, man, with the blue in the back. The Raichu up front. This is a really great piece of art right there. Shinx. Drifloon. Oh, I'm excited. What are we going to get for the last pack? Piplup. Meow. That's right. Hunting some berries. Zubat. We have a reverse holo Staraptor. And again, another reverse rare. This episode has been, the theme here has been the reverse rare, right? It's been absolutely amazing. Some fantastic reverse rares so far in this uh, this first part. And the final card of the entire video is going to be a non holo Chameco. That's a decent artwork, though. It looks very cool. Like, look at the stupid, like, <laughs> the stupid, like, hills in the background. And then the Chameco. Really interesting art style. But that is the final pack, guys. And. As you can see down there, this is what we have pulled in this video. A Yanmega Holo. Let's get some nice focus on this. Yanmega Holo. Metagross Holo. And then we have the Electivire Level X, of course. The last sale in a PSA 10 was only $52, but that was in 2019. So maybe it's changed recently. However, the 9 has sold... Well, this can't be right. The last sale in a 9 was in 2020, $38. Although every time I click on that transaction, eBay throws a error message. So maybe that's not correct. But guys, there you have it. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video and sharing this amazing pack opening with me. I really do appreciate the support on this channel. Every comment that you guys leave, I read every single one and I appreciate it. As I said in the intro, make sure you do leave a like and subscribe if you aren't already. I'll be back tomorrow with some more Pokemon content as well as the next parts of this Platinum Supreme Victor series. So make sure you stick around for that. For now though, take care and peace out.